guys, it's me. I don't say hey guys, I say hey people. Hey people, it's me. Um, I still don't like making tutorials and I still suck at them, so please be patient. Anyway, I'm gonna show you how to make, uh, it's gonna, I'm gonna put it somewhere, I don't know where I'm gonna put it exactly, but an image here or there. I'm gonna show you how to do this and uh, I don't know what, what to call it yet. So we're gonna call it velocity effect for now. Or liquid depth. Liquid depth is fine. Liquid depth. Anyway, let's get started. It's pretty easy. You go get grab an image from the internet, whatever it is, any colors you want, play with the colors even. Just duplicate the image, go to filter, Gaussian blur. Uh, I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna keep this one. Um, and just uh, what I'll do with this image is I'm going to put it uh, the liquid to 70%. Then I'm going to go to filter, liquify, the, the blur, sorry, not the liquid. And just I'm going to play around, creating um, a smooth, whatever it's called. Well, anyway, what I really want to highlight, the better the effect, if you want the effect to look really good, you need to create these, uh, what is it called? I don't know, like, I don't know if there's a name for it yet, but like solid bends, like, looks like liquid. Anyway, I've tried, I've had a lot of trials and I'm gonna use this one. So just for you, you're just gonna use the, do the liquify, press enter and work with the result you get. All right. <clears throat> so this is blur, this is liquify. And then you're gonna make three copies of the liquify, call them red, green, blue and group them together and call this light effect right light effect i'm gonna call it multiply because i don't want to name it again anyway <clears throat> go to the red first go to filter and make sure that your mode is on 8-bit like uh, image mode 8-bit Make sure that you're in 8-bit. It's not going to work otherwise. Go to red. Uh, red? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I really suck at this. I'm sorry. So, layers. Go to the red layer. And then filter. Render. Lighting effects. Okay? What's important here, when you go... When you have the lighting effects open... Go to texture and choose the red. And just play with it so it doesn't look. Uh, I don't know why it looks so weird here. Let me check again. What's going on? Okay. Render lighting effects. Texture red. Still have it. Okay. I'm gonna do something else then. <clears throat> I'm gonna go to channels and I'm gonna just duplicate the red copy. Go back to the layers, filter, render, render lighting effect. Hmm. Now, if we use the red copy, yeah, it works fine. Okay. So you have to make copies. I thought we don't we didn't need to make copies. Anyway, just put the light bulb or I'm I'm using a point light. I found it better and the farther you have it from the images, it has the better results in my opinion, but you can play around and uh, find what works for you. So let's keep the intensity at uh, 45. 45 works for me, 
exposure is 32, gloss 39. This is the gloss, just the gloss is the gloss is a gloss. I don't know how to to explain that to be honest. And I, I keep the metallic at 100 percent ambience minus eleven. This works for me. You can play with the sliders, there's no right and no wrong. I actually came up with this by trying different stuff. This is what I do, I keep trying different stuff. Anyway, hit OK. And uh, you'll notice there's a weird texture. If you like it, if this is what you wanna work with, keep it, but for me, I don't like it. So I usually blur it, blur the, the result of the effect. And I blur it very subtly. 9.8 pixels works for me. Now, the green. Let's go to channels and duplicate the green channel. You can find channel under windows. Channels is going to pop up somewhere. I put mine here. Green and let's duplicate the blue as well while we add it. Go back to layers, go to the green layer. Open up. Um, Filters, render, lighting effects. <clears throat> and this time I'm gonna keep everything as it is. I'm just gonna take the green. It's okay. Go to the blue. Same thing. Render, lighting effects. This time I'm gonna just use blue copy. Keep everything as it is. Just hit okay. First, I used to do one of the, uh, the channels, but I thought I want to do all of them. It gives like, the blue gives a great effect. Like, I love the effect that it has now. And now I'm gonna blur both, 9.8, green. I'm just gonna repeat the last filter by holding Control, Alt, and F. Okay, now, this is what I actually do. I have all, all three. I'm going to invert all three by hitting Control I. Control I. And then I'm going to desaturate it by holding Control Shift U. Control Shift U. Control Shift U. All right. And you can like you can use it for paper texture if you want to make big paper texture, if you want to make milk texture. This is how you uh, you get this result. Anyway, I, uh, I'm gonna use those and I'm gonna duplicate it. And in the duplicate, I'm gonna call it uh, overlay. So, of course, the multiply group is gonna go and be multiply. You can, you can try different uh, stuff like linear burn works fine for, uh, for my point of view um, that's about it really I use I use multiply and the overlay definitely overlay or you can try different stuff as well if you want like darker color doesn't work linear burn eh, like it gives an effect but this is not the effect I want the effect I want is under overlay and I'm not done like this the, we can we can stop here, but I want to show you something more. So I'm gonna merge all visible by holding Control Shift Alt and hitting E. This is the merge all visible and call it merged and duplicate the merged the merge. Go to other filters, other and HSB HSL. And let me explain this filter. This filter can work wonders if you understand what it is. And if you work with channels, you can basically isolate everything, everything, almost everything, not everything, and use the channels to do your selections. So what it, what it does, if we hit, if we in the input mode, select RGB, it's gonna take the values in the red and green and blue channels and output them as hue, saturation, brightness in this order. So 
the red channel is going to be the hues. I think it, but it's by numbers. Like I didn't study this stuff. I just tried it and I figured it out. Figured it out. I actually should read it, and I will someday. But in what we're gonna do, I'm gonna use the hue saturation brightness, and I'm gonna um, <clears throat> the output to RGB, and this is the result. But I'm not a big fan of green, if you notice. So I'm gonna invert it, and then I played with it. It's not something I knew what to do. I'm just I'm gonna choose hue. Actually, we can choose color as well. And sat saturation is fine, but it just desaturates uh, the reds. It's not what I want to do. So I want subtract is also great, but I want hue. So this is uh, this is where I stop when trying. We can do other stuff. Like one of them, we can just duplicate this image, play with it, we can reshape it. We can try something. Uh, let's just do another merge. Control Shift Alt E. And if you make, um, just pick the mar ellipse marquee tool, and just make an ellipse somewhere, somewhere here, for example. Keep it selected. Go to filter, distort, sphere eyes, yes. Just hold, like, do the amount you want. I'm gonna keep it 100. And then if you, like with the selection still selected, if you hit the layer mask, You can have a shape, like an overall shape. It's not fun. I don't like it. Anyways, let's uh, let's get back to what where we start. We stopped. What I usually do after I finish anything, almost anything, just create another merge, and I go to camera raw. the The shortcut to get to camera raw is Control Shift A. I didn't read it. I just hit Control Shift A some one time because I want to deselect things and this is how you deselect in Illustrator and just opened the camera raw but usually you go to filter and camera raw and you can see the shortcut here I never thought about it okay let's uh, oh maybe I'll try alone anyway let's go to uh, camera raw filter settings You can play with it as as you desire. I'm just gonna increase uh, the blue and the temperature. I want it more blue. I want more contrast. Just just uh, like plus ten clarity. You can go all the way, or you can just have it to twenty nine or something. Dehaze, same fifty. What are you doing? I have dogs. Okay, yeah, nothing serious. And uh, then I go to presets, and my color mat is one of my all time favorite uh, presets. And this one I'm gonna pick. This is the final result. Maybe you liked it before, maybe you liked it after, but remember that we started, uh, we started here. This is the end result. So if you learned anything, absolutely anything, let me know in the, in the comments, whether it's in Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn, whatever, wherever you see the video. If you learned something, like it, like, give me a like. It helps a lot. I don't know how it helps because I don't do that. I, I'm not good at YouTube. I'm not good at doing tutorials, but everyone says that. So I'm riding the wave. So yeah, just, Hit comment, uh, <laughs> hit like, drop a comment, follow me, whatever it is. Subscribe if it's on YouTube, if you want to actually. Like, if you want to subscribe, subscribe. If you don't, uh, don't like, don't want to subscribe, don't. Uh, just tell me what you think. 
and tell me what are my shortcomings and how I can be better. Like, I would listen. I would really listen. I love criticism because uh, I like to bitch around. If you don't, uh, if you don't know me, you will very soon. So thank you very much to sitting for for sitting till the end. I'm from Egypt. I'm Hassan Sharif, as known as HS.DA on Instagram. Love you. See you next time.